Welcome to the Diamond Kinetics Pitching Series. In this video, we will be covering all of the basics surrounding spin axis. Spin axis is the visual representation of the points each pitch is spinning around. It has a direct effect on both spin direction and spin efficiency. When you picture spin axis, think of it as a pole going straight through the middle of the baseball. Each pitch will spin around this axis the same way you can picture the earth revolving around the poles. This 2D representation is exactly what most people think about when they picture spin direction, but what about spin efficiency? Like I said, spin axis has a direct effect on both spin direction and spin efficiency. Let's focus on spin direction first, as this may be the one that we are all more familiar with. Spin direction is the measure of how each pitch is spinning, viewed from behind the baseball. This is often displayed as time on the clock. Our blue line here will represent our spin axis. Our spin direction will always fall at 90 degrees from that line. Hopping over to spin efficiency, you can picture the ball instead from directly above. When you throw through the ball with true backspin, our spin efficiency will be 100%. As the ball tilts forwards and backwards, thinking releasing each pitch more around the ball than directly through it, you move closer to 0% spin efficiency. This is important to know, because the lower the spin efficiency, the less amount of useful spin you will have, which means you won't be maximizing the movement you have based on your spin rate. The second piece may be a little bit harder to understand, but the DK Pitch Tracker app can help us visualize this a little bit better. When you open the app, spin direction and spin efficiency can be located here and here. You'll notice on this particular pitch, we have a relatively high spin efficiency, meaning that our blue rods, or our spin axis, is pretty flat from this perspective. However, when we take a look at this next pitch, we will notice a much lower spin efficiency, and graphically we can tell this by looking at our blue spin axis rod. The left side of the ball is much further from us than the right side is. We've covered spin direction in another video, so to wrap this up, let's take a look at the ideal ranges of spin efficiencies for each pitch type. For fastballs, curveballs, and changeups, you want a higher spin efficiency in order to maximize the movement of these pitches. But on sliders, you will see a significantly lower spin efficiency due to the way that that pitch is released. I'll see you in the next one.